So when I arrived in Vancouver Island in Victoria, it was, uh, it was about six years ago. And uh, I had a network that I had built, um, but it was from my time in Ontario. I lived in Toronto and, uh, and I, I worked in Toronto. I lived in Hamilton. But I had a good solid network and I brought a lot of that with me because I was working as a consultant. Um, but of course, your network is really the people around you and the people you see all the time. You can have a virtual network. We can work that way quite effectively. But without a, being able to renew it periodically, you kind of lose it. So when I came, I didn't know anybody. And I found that in Victoria, um, it was important on who you knew. So I actually joined the board fairly quickly out here as their secretary. And, uh, and immediately, it started paying dividends. I started to meet people. I started to build my own network. Um, I went to lots of events. Uh, and it's been the most important thing I did since I came. The value is all in the conversation and, and in having that commonality of CPRS behind you and being able to approach those people on that level saying, hey, we're mutual members of this organization and I know that you're an established PR practitioner because you are a member of this, you value PR, let's talk about this issue that I have or do you have some feedback for me on this? There were actually several instances at the last conference that I attended where I had those conversations with people and it was amazing the the responses that I got back and I really did value their opinions and and that they would so willingly contribute them. Everybody needs a network and um, when you're and and as a consultant you oftentimes are working independently and uh, and you need people that you can bounce ideas off. The just the amount of change that our profession has had in in the past 20 years with with the advent of the uh, the web and the internet and social media and and you know our our toolkit and, and the level of strategic thinking that we need to bring to our work has really changed a lot. The learning that we need to stay on top of that doesn't only come through education, you know, it comes through many different ways. And, and one of my favorites is by getting together with others and just, you know, having a good old chat about who's doing what. You can read about best practices, you can read about ways of doing things. Um, but for me, nothing compares with actually sitting down, hearing from people that have done it or, or use it, and talking about it, comparing it. You can tell stories to each other. You can sort of share experiences. And face-to-face -face is different from doing it in an email or even on a virtual online. It is a difference. And I think you still need to supplement your online learning with personal contact. And professional associations are a great way to get that. The social events through CPRSVI are awesome. They are very lively, very friendly, and you make those professional connections that you wouldn't otherwise meet through just the regular learning seminars. Networking is 100% key, the most important thing you could possibly do, especially on Vancouver Island. When you're in a smaller community, you have to speak to people that are doing something similar to you. You have to make your intentions known, and then one day, you know, somehow, somewhere, you're going to run into that person again and they're going to go, let's get together and work on this together. <laughs>